We're out standing on a frozen lake in interior Alaska, um, outside of the University of Alaska Fairbanks campus. And this ice is already about 20 centimeters thick. So as it's been freezing up, methane gas has been coming out of the bottom of the lake and getting trapped in the lake ice. If you look at the shore, you can see that there are lots of trees that are falling in the lake and they're dying. What's happening is the permafrost is thawing. And the ice that was in the ground, when it melts, causes the ground surface to collapse. Then the forest falls in and any organic matter, dead plant and animal remains that were in the permafrost, thaw out in the bottom of the lake. Microbes decompose it and it generates methane. And methane doesn't like to stay in water in solution. It forms bubbles and those bubbles uh, make their way to the surface. In the summertime, the bubbles pop and they enter the atmosphere. In the winter, however, this ice forms a cover on the surface of the lake. And the bubbles get trapped right under the ice and then the ice thickens and freezes around them. And so what we have out here is like a time-lapse photograph of methane emissions from the lakes. Methane is a very potent greenhouse gas. A molecule of methane is 25 times stronger than carbon dioxide. <laughs> methane is formed in millions of lakes around the Arctic where permafrost is thawing. And each year, these lakes are emitting already tremendous amounts of methane. But when we look at how much carbon is in permafrost still frozen, and the potential for that permafrost to thaw in the future, we estimate that more than 10 times the amount of methane that's right now in the atmosphere will come out of these lakes.